Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating quite a few things right here on your Mac. So, on the top left hand side of your Mac, you're going to see the Apple logo. So it's the Apple logo, top left hand side. Let's just click right there. Your third option will say App Store. So that's where it's going to say 9 updates. That's for me right now, 9. For you guys, it could just be 1 update. So those are updates coming from the App Store, which are from apps in our Mac. Now, for system updates, most of them will be under system preferences. For older Mac OS, everything should be under your app store anyways. If you're almost up to date, then under system preferences. Anyways, let's just get started and go into our app store because we will be updating apps in this video. So in our app store, we're gonna see this. Just in case you don't see this right away, on the left hand side, you will see this list. And on the bottom, it should say updates. So just click on the bottom updates and from here we should see all of these. So we do have Keynote, Pages, Numbers, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft OneNote, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word and WhatsApp. So we do have all those updates right now to do. However, if you're missing one or you just don't see one right here, let's say it's Microsoft Word. For example, on the top left hand corner we're going to see search. So just click on search and look up for Word, for example. And we're just gonna go on and search for it. It's better obviously if we type in Microsoft Word. However, it did find it. So it's the very first option here. And on the top right hand side, I should see update. However, I can always click on Microsoft Word itself. So on the top right hand side, I should still see update. So I can go ahead and update it from here. At this point in time, we're just gonna go back into updates. And remember, like I mentioned before, you can always update from there if you're missing an update from here. We always have the option again on the top right hand side, update all. So we can just click on update all and they all will be updated. If you would like to see more information about a particular update, we can always click on more, which is on the bottom right hand side of each one of these updates. If we click on more, we should see this in the middle of our screen. And here is where I can see the size and what it does. So this one, for example, it's only 435 megabytes, which isn't that big. So depending on your internet speed, this should take anywhere from five minutes to one minute to 30 minutes. It really does depend on your internet speed. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with Keynote. I'm just gonna click on update since we already saw the size. Then we're gonna go into numbers. I'm gonna click on more just to see how much it is. And it's 215 megabytes. I'm gonna click on update that one. I'm gonna update pages. And before I do that, I'm just gonna click on more. 299 megabytes, which is really small. I'm gonna click on update. Obviously, I'm updating a quite a few of these, so that means it's gonna take longer. How do I know if they're updating? Well, on the top right hand side of each one of them, you're gonna see the circle. And it's gonna keep moving and moving and moving until it goes all the way through. If I click on it to stop, it will just do that, stop. I'm gonna click on update again, and I'm gonna resume that update. So it's gonna restart that update. So make sure not to click right there, because you will be restarting that update. I can see the other ones are coming along. However, I'm gonna go ahead with Excel, click on update, click on more just to view how big this is, 789.6 megabytes. I'm gonna go ahead into Microsoft OneNote, click on update, click on more, and I'm gonna see, yeah, around 400 megabytes. I'm gonna go ahead and move along into Outlook. Same deal, I'm just gonna click on more just to see how big that is. Yeah, 700 megabytes, which isn't too big, not too small. Uh, same deal with PowerPoint, just clicking on update. I can also see that 700 megabytes. Microsoft Word, I'm assuming it's gonna be around the same. And no, it's a little bit bigger, it's one gig, so this one's the biggest one so far. And finally, we have WhatsApp, and this is the latest version. So we're just gonna click again on update. We're gonna click on more and we're gonna take a look at that and that's only 156 megabytes, so it's pretty small. So right now I can see that numbers is almost done. Pages is getting there. There we go, so numbers is done. So once it's done updating, we should see it down here, updated recently and it should just say open. That means I have no more updates for it. Now I always recommend having automatic updates turned off and updating things yourself just to make sure you're good to go. Sometimes you're in the middle of a project, you really don't wanna update that software. And it's also good to keep a good time machine backup 
of your Mac. Now Time Machine is something pre-built into your Mac so you guys can use that using your external hard drive in order to back up your entire Mac which includes apps, videos, photos or any type of file in here. So I'm just going to show you what Time Machine is. It's on the top right hand side. You might see this. Now I'm doing a backup right now and I'm just going to open it up just because I want to show you what Time Machine is. And it's something, again, built into your Mac. It's nothing you guys have to download or anything like that. You just have to set it up. And I do have a separate video showing you guys how to set this up on your Mac so you guys can always go back in time if something goes wrong. Anyways, for now, this is it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.